Today I'm going to show you how to copy UMD uh, discs onto your memory stick so you can play games without actually having the UMD inside the drive so you can just play them, run them off your memory stick. Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to go onto Google and type in UMD dumper and that should be the first thing that comes up PSP downloads UMD dumper uh, PSP hex and then you just want to click on that and this should come up this website and there we go that's the details about it and you just want to download there we go and you just want to save it it's just in a zip file I'm going to save it to the desktop um, just let it save it's a very small file And you can close this, and there we go. You've got the zip file. There's a different icon for mine because I've got a different program to extract it. Um, but then just go, and then just extract extract the zip file, and then you can delete the zipped up file, and then you've got that. There we go. And then inside you should have just that. And then you should have that. There's a README for the instructions. Um, that's not actually a very good README. Um, then you've got, and then here you want to go into PSP game, and you want to copy both of these files. Um, you can just highlight them both. Sorry, um, and then right-click, copy. So you've copied both UMD dump and UMD dump with percentage. And then now we want to go onto a PSP. Um, and you want to go to USB connection and you want to make sure USB is plugged in. Just click on that. There we go. USB mode. And it flashes up on the screen, memory stick. Just want to open the files to view and then you want to go into PSP then you want to go into game and then you right click and you paste and you want to paste both UMD dump and UMD dump with percentage until they're in there then you can close all these windows there we go Just, um, and then you want to exit out of USB mode and then you want to go down to game. Now this will only work, sorry, if you have a PSP with a custom firmware. So you should have, in system information, you should have a, a different firmware. See, so I've got 3.40 uh, LEA version 3 and you'll need a PSP custom firmware um, to run this game because it's known as Homebrew. And then there you go, you should have one thing saying new UMD dumper version 0.2 and then you may have a corrupt data icon, but you may not, that doesn't matter, just uh, ignore that because you can't run the corrupt data icon. And then you want to click on UMD dumper and by this time you should have the UMD disk inside the PSP, so in the UMD drive. And then you want to start the game. There we go, it should say UMD dumper and it should automatically start and it starts copying the files and it will just tell you how many megabytes it's written and you just need to wait for that to copy. And there we go, it should say completed once it's finished. Um, and it will usually take about uh, five minutes. This is a very small UMD. It doesn't have many files in it. Um, so it didn't take too long to copy. And it's only 70. I don't know if you can see. It says 75 megabytes. Uh, but most UMDs will be about 500 megabytes. So you'll need, obviously, that much room on your memory stick. Um, so once it says completed, you click home. Do you want to exit the game? And yes. Um, and then it's copied um, 
the UMD, but you can't play it yet because it's only stored it in the root of your memory state, so you can't access it. So now you want to go to USB connection again, make sure it's plugged in, and then it should pop up on the screen. There we go. And then you just want to open the folder to view the files, and then you should have this new file called UMD, and it should be an ISO, or it may be a CSO file, and then you want to just drag it. Uh, and then you want to place it into the folder called ISO. So drag it and place, and then it should be in uh, ISO, and it should be called UMD. And then you can close this, and then you can exit uh, USB mode. And now the game should be in the memory stick. So you go to game and then memory stick, then there should be a new file. There we go. That's the game that I've just copied, um, and it's also the UMD, there we go, that's the UMD, but it's also now in the memory stick. So now I can take the UMD out, but the game will still be there, um, and then you can just run it. But to run it, obviously, you'll need... Um, to have a UMD in there, unless it's on UMD, uh, no UMD mode. So just to prove that it does work, I'll just go into recovery mode, so I can play it without the UMD. Right, uh, settings, basic config, uh, use no UMD, use no UMD mode, and that's now enabled. Right now I can. Exit, recovery, so there's no UMD in there at the moment, the UMD is here, um, and now I'll just run the game without the UMD, so you can just copy any games you want basically, and then use them um, without the UMD, so you can back up all your games in case you break them by mistake and stuff. And there you go, it starts the game up. Um, yeah, uh, this is a Japanese game that I've copied, so it will be in Japanese, but it's just proving that you can play any game. Uh, just copy it, you can copy any games basically that you want. So uh, if you own a game but you've broken it, there we go, it started. Just exit the game. But if you own a game, um, but your copy of the game is broken, but your friend has the same game, you can copy that because basically you've paid for it and it's just that it's broken. So you can back it up from your friend's version. And that's how to copy uh, UMDs. Um, thanks for watching.